engineers. Welcome to NDC Talks. My name is Marion Golda. It's good to have you here again. And uh, after a, a, a bit of a long time, uh, the last time we had our video out was in 2023, December, and the whole of 2024, we didn't have a video out. And I really want to appreciate two engineers who reached out to me and said, Marion, we need to have NDC Talks back. And I can really thank God that it has been made possible today. And welcome, welcome, uh, welcome back. And today I want us to talk about a topic. Uh, one of the guys who reached out to me was a diploma in civil engineering student. And when I, uh, when I, when I uploaded my video on career path in civil engineering, I had um guys who had uh who had pursued diploma in civil engineering asked me. Uh, so Marion, what can we? Uh, what are some of the career paths we can uh pursue with uh, a diploma in civil engineering? And before I get into this video, I want to give um uh, a caveat. This is because uh what you become in life really is uh um, is dependent on very many factors. And uh, what I'm trying to say is you shouldn't limit yourself. Uh, when when we do bidding works, then we uh sometimes you see the positions. Uh, you do when you do CV evaluation. Sorry, uh, you get to see how uh, different people have advanced in their careers, and some started on diploma in civil engineering uh, in civil engineering, and now they uh, they have years of experience and are advanced. Some have advanced the education, some preferred not to advance the education. So what I want to say is anything is possible. Uh, what I'm going to put here is a guide. Uh, a guide, but you can literally do anything. I was actually really checking. I was, I was doing this and I was, I was doing this and I was asking myself, um, there's so many options. I mean, if I did a, a diploma in civil engineering, I can be anything I want. Um, yes, I might need to go to school and and maybe uh, advance my education. Maybe I will need to just advance my skills, get experience. Uh, so let's get into the video. So the first uh, uh, career path you can pursue with a diploma in civil engineering is uh, engineering technician. I just to call it engineering technician because there are all kinds of engineering technicians, uh, technician jobs. Uh, you can be a technician in the laboratory, so material technician. Material technician, you can go for like uh, material sample, for example, for roads. You go when, when they do the, the location of, of, of sites where they will be collecting the, the road materials. Uh, you can be doing this. The sampling, the testing, and sending the results to the engineer who will do the analysis and finally send the road. Uh, you can be a um, geotechnical engineering technician. So you'll do the same thing, but for geotechnical engineering, there's the boring, but the piles and the 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 the, the soil layers, there's all kinds of geotechnical engineering tests. So uh one of the things you can be is a technician. Um, the second thing uh, you can do with a diploma in civil engineering is a site supervisor. So on site, some people call it uh, uh, formal ban. So what you do is deal with construction, implementation of works. You have all kinds of people, but I've had a very senior engineer once say that as as a uh, 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 a foreman is important on a site more than an engineer, <laughs> you know. So you 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 do the implementation of the designs of the engineer, especially um yes the engineer will be there, but also this the foreman will um will actually work with the masons and look before the guys who will be doing the the manual work. Mm -hmm. uh, to proceed the implementation of the works. And uh, the third thing you can do is lecturing. So you can um, you can advance your, your studies and then you can teach other people who want to pursue diploma in civil engineering. And the last thing that you can do is 
uh, digital delivery. So you can either be a card uh, technician, so you can, you can, you know, when I say the digital delivery, it can be all kinds of things for mechanical works, for civil works, for electrical works. So what I mean is after the engineer does the design, so then you do the, you, you do the, 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 the drawings, whether you 2D or 3D using all digital delivery tools, Revit, Civil 3D, AutoCAD, and, and this is mostly, this is based in the office. Uh, so you can even, yeah, product design technician, you can work with the highway engineers and do like the civil, the civil, civil 3D uh, drawings. Uh, yes, and the last one is you can do anything. I, I mean, I, I say that because sometimes it just depends with you what you want to do. It's not custom stone. Some of these things are just guides. And even if they tell you, uh, if they put out a job description somewhere and say, for this job, believe that somebody has this, this, and this. Sometimes if you can do the job and you don't have everything, you can actually, you can actually succeed in it. So that's why I'm leaving the last career option open because you can actually do anything. I wanted to put this guide out there for diploma in civil engineering because specifically that's what I've, I've been asked or not been asked about diploma in mechanical engineering or diploma in electrical engineering. But I was asked about diploma in civil engineering and uh, I want to put this guide out there and I'm looking forward to getting uh, an engineer uh, a diploma in, uh, in civil engineering uh, 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 engineer uh, who can then guide us better uh, because they will actually be telling us what they're actually doing with their uh, academic achievements. I hope this video is going to be helpful to those who are asking this question what do I do with my diploma in civil engineering. Until next time, this is one of these Bye.